So yeah. I'm looking at you. No, actually right? straight to camera. Okay. Hi. How are you? A little nervous? You ask, I talk. Don't look at you, look at the yeah, camera. Look. Have you started yet? With just the dialogue about what it is to be a black person in Canada. Black Canadian identity is a very uh, difficult thing to, to pinpoint. I felt like I always fought against stereotypes and fought against what people thought you were supposed to be as a black person. For a long time, I felt that blackness was something I had to figure out or find. And once I found it, I had to figure out a way to fit into it. I'm not black American. I'm not Jamaican. I'm Canadian. I never really saw myself as being Canadian. I never quite fit into that box. I wouldn't say that I'm Canadian without a sort of race or political qualifier. I'm a proud Canadian. I was born here, my mother was born here, my grandparents were born here. My ancestors had part in the building of this place. I think part of what it means to be black Canadian is to understand your story. Oh, I have so many stories of uh, growing up black in Windsor. Growing up as a young black woman in Sudbury, I actually often felt invisible. I would walk down the halls and I remember people would stick things into my hair in the hallway and not tell me. A woman attacked me and during the process started calling me nigger, beating me, scratching me, punching me. I can remember in grade two having the word nigger scrolled on my locker at school with human excrement. And I remember running home and like, going on my mother's bed and like bawling. I think it's very important for us to have dialogue because that's the only way to gain clarity. Let's face it, we don't talk the way we do <laughs> when we're in mixed company. I have a problem when I see black people trying to act white. I had someone last year said that I was, that I speak white and act white. It's not body riders, it's body riders. And you know, even now I'm like, I don't even know if I said that right. I, I even have friends who are, are black and would say they don't want a neighbor beside them who's black. You get the odd person telling you with their thick accent to go back where you came from. Like there's daily transgressions that we're going through and it's hard being black living in Canada. The spirit of, of my people has always been one where uh, we overcome obstacles. I think that being the only black person in situations has made me stronger because it's been a constant. Every generation wants to talk about the solutions, but every we have also a generational failure where no generation takes on the ownership of creating a solution. Making sense of it on my own. We were here. Surviving the journey. Best of both worlds. Against the odds. In search of my mother's tongue. Public enemy. I am black history. Critical healing. So on ice. Critical love. Missing myself. And critical hope. If I were to title a book about my life as a black person living in Canada, I would call it, I'm finally black. I'm ready, I'm prize fighting, I'm ready for more, man. Hit me some questions. <laughs> nah, no, I'm done, I'm out.